You might have heard about echo driving for cars. The driver tries to drive smoothly, avoid sudden acceleration or braking, and take fewer other tools. Echo piloting is similar, but for aircraft. Pilots and ground staff work together to use less fuel and therefore emit less CO2. Join me on the flight to see it in action. As soon as the flight is announced, I plan my first optimization. The lighter the aircraft, the less fuel it consumes. I will only take on board the necessary fuel and water for my journey while respecting the imperative principle of safety. We are almost ready for departure. Now, my aircraft needs power at its parking stop. I use the airport's electrical supply instead of the fuel consuming and noisy air fuel. A small engine located in the aircraft's tail. Taxiing to the runway, I only use one engine until I reach runway threshold. Only there do I ignite the second engine. Now come the key moments of takeoff. I make adjustments to avoid pushing the engine to full thrust. I adjust the position of the flaps and use the right length of runway to take off with less fuel consumption by optimizing the thrust of the engine. You notice it too our plane is less nosy. During the flight, it is always better to have a straighter route and to fly in cruise. The higher I fly, less fuel I burn. This work of optimizing my route and my altitude is carried out in cooperation with air traffic control. Our unborn computer uses artificial intelligence to help visualize the most efficient routes along the way. When I approach it, time flies. In collaboration with the air traffic controller managing my approach, I tried to make a continuous descent. During these soft descents, my engines are idling, which again means less fuel and less noise. Here's the landing. The flaps are set in the optimal position. I can try to exploit the length of the runway without necessarily using extra fuel. Here we are. At every moment of the flight, I did my best to limit noise and fuel consumption. My colleagues and I have already reduced fuel consumption by 4 to 5 percent per year. And there is potential for even more improvements in the future. Eco-piloting is therefore one of the main pillars of the reduction of CO2 emissions. Together with fleet renewal and the use of sustainable aviation fuels.